My wife took off her shirt and bra during an argument where I was winning. It was a booby trap. Today, I'm going to recap a 2014 action thriller film called Mercenaries. The film opens with Elise, the U.S. president's daughter, on a humanitarian trip to Kazakhstan. En route, Elise's motorcade comes to a standstill due to a wooden cart blocking their path. Sensing trouble, one of the security personnel steps out to investigate. The cart's owner claims it has broken down, but this turns out to be a ruse as a band of insurgents ambush the convoy with gunfire. Amidst the chaos, Elise escapes into the woods where she encounters the rebellion's leader, a woman named Ulrika. Meanwhile, at CIA headquarters, Agent Mona Kendall receives photographs and footage of Elise's kidnapping. In the video, Ulrika communicates her demand to be recognized as Kazakhstan's rightful president by the U.S. government. She also warns that if the U.S. intervenes militarily, she will not hesitate to execute Elise. CIA analyst Body provides a background on Ulrika, a notorious female warlord who, along with her trusted lieutenant Grigori, has been a constant thorn in the Kazakhstan administration's side. Ulrika harbors a deep-seated mistrust of men, with Grigori being the sole exception. Given this, the best strategy to rescue Elise is to deploy an undercover all-female squad. Mona assembles a roster of suitable candidates, all of whom are dangerous women. Within hours, she gathers four chosen inmates in a room and introduces them to one another. First is Mei Lin, an expert bomb maker, then Kat Morgan, a former U.S. Navy sniper, followed by Cassandra Clay, an ex-Special Forces commander, and finally Raven, a former assassin. Mona briefs them on their mission, which will proceed without military support and designates Clay as the team leader. Successful completion of the mission will secure their release from prison. When Clay inquires about their departure, it is revealed that they are already aboard a military aircraft bound for Kazakhstan. Upon arrival, they are provided with local attire and gear to replace their prisoner uniforms. To prevent escape, GPS tracking chips are implanted in their bodies. Disguised as local residents, they are driven by a local chauffeur. However, during their journey, they are intercepted by Ulrika's insurgent forces. Although their driver is accustomed to navigating security checkpoints, one of the rebels insists on inspecting the vehicle's contents. Noticing that the passengers are women, the squad leader demands one of them to engage in a sexual act with him. Subsequently, Clay was selected by the squad leader. In response, Raven attacked him, leading to an inevitable gunfight. The four women quickly eliminated the entire patrol squad, with Kat shooting dead a fleeing member from a distance. Afterward, Clay contacted Mona to inform her of their driver's death and the damaged vehicle. Despite the setbacks, Mona insisted they proceed with their mission to rescue Elise. As a result, the team continued on foot, eventually reaching a quiet village. There, they encountered Lexi, a young girl who offered her assistance. Lexi explained that the only way to infiltrate Ulrika's stronghold, the Citadel, was to commandeer a truck used for smuggling weapons to Ulrika's forces. In exchange for her information, Lexi asked to be taken to America upon completion of the mission. Two hours later, a truck transporting illegal weapons arrived in the village. Clay and her team were prepared at their designated locations, with Clay shooting one of the truck's tires and boarding the vehicle. Mei Lin created a smokescreen to halt the truck, allowing the women to overpower the driver and inspect its contents. They discovered two missiles destined for Ulrika's group and decided to use them as a cover to infiltrate the Citadel. Upon arriving at the Citadel, which was once a prison, Clay and her team encountered Ulrika and Grigori. During the negotiations, Clay offered Mei Lin as a bonus, claiming she was the daughter of a wealthy Chinese businessman. With Mei Lin as a hostage, Ulrika could extort her father for a ransom. Pleased with her new female business partner, Ulrika invited them inside and tipped Lexi for her services. Within the compound, the group passed through several code-locked doors. As Ulrika led them to a lounge, she engaged in conversation with Clay over drinks, while Kat searched for Elise. Eventually, Kat located a heavily guarded room and seduced the guard to gain entry. Meanwhile, Clay seized an opportunity to attack Ulrika with a bottle, catching her off guard and knocking her unconscious. 
Elsewhere, Raven, assigned to secure a getaway vehicle, found herself in a room outside the base. Approaching two rebels playing cards, she was suddenly confronted by Grigori. Quick on her feet, Raven grabbed her concealed weapon and shot the two guards before lunging at Grigori. Recognizing her skills, Grigori proposed that Raven join their rebel faction to earn a substantial income. Inside the base, Kat successfully liberated Elise. Subsequently, Kat, Elise, Clay, and Mei Lin hurried to rendezvous with Raven outside. Raven alerted them to an escape vehicle she had found. However, as they approached the car, Raven unexpectedly assaulted Mei Lin and held the group at gunpoint, revealing her betrayal. In response, Mei Lin, who had fashioned a bomb from a button on her shirt, hurled it at Raven. The explosion, though not lethal, sparked an intense firefight. Clay managed to escort Elise to safety, but found themselves cornered on a rooftop. Their only means of escape was to leap onto a truck parked below. Before Elise could jump, Woolrika shot Clay, causing her to plummet onto the moving truck below. Woolrika subsequently recaptured Elise and brought her back to the base, while Clay, who survived the fall, jumped from the truck as it traveled through a wooded area. Concealed in the underbrush, Clay observed a car approaching and witnessed two of Woolrika's henchmen disposing of a body. Upon closer inspection, she was shocked to discover that the corpse was Lexi. Angered by the innocent girl's death, Clay resolved to exact vengeance. She infiltrated the Citadel once more and systematically eliminated the guards. Meanwhile, Woolrika brutalized the captive cat and Mei Lin before ordering Grigori to deal with them. However, Grigori was interrupted by news of an ongoing assault on their base. He assigned a bodyguard to watch over Kat and Mei Lin while he investigated the situation. Outside, Clay continued her solo assault on the guards, using a combination of hand-to-hand -hand combat and gunplay to incapacitate them. She also managed to commandeer a truck, hiding in its cargo area as the driver was forced to proceed. As the vehicle passed the gate, Clay disembarked, while the deceived guards fatally shot the driver. Back inside the base, Kat and Mei Lin, still bound, were approached by Grigori's lascivious bodyguard. However, Kat managed to overpower him, allowing them to escape. Grigori, stunned by the prisoner's flight, promptly reported the incident to Ulrika. Concurrently, another part of the base was rocked by an explosion. Ulrika enlisted Raven's assistance to help Grigori recapture the escapees. In one of the rooms, Cat attacked Grigori and ensnared him with chains. Unfortunately, Raven seized Elise and held her at gunpoint. Raven and Ulrika then escorted Elise away through a hidden passage. Suspecting the tunnel might lead to a nearby church, Mei Lin urged Clay to proceed there immediately. Arriving ahead of the others, Clay spotted Ulrika, Raven, and Elise entering the church. Armed with a bomb detonator, Clay threatened to destroy the building. While Raven dismissed her threats as bluffs, Ulrika took them seriously. Ulrika shoved a list toward Clay, who then dashed to a jeep parked outside the church with Cat waiting. With Elise in tow, Clay and the others managed to flee from the citadel. A gunfight erupted, with Cat and Clay alternating shots at the pursuing rebel forces. Eventually, Cat succeeded in eliminating them all. Following their escape, they made their way to an airport, intending to use an Air Force plane stolen by Ulrika for their getaway. Mei Lin prepared to pilot the aircraft when Ulrika and Raven pursued them in a jeep. Moments later, Ulrika leaped onto the plane. Noticing Raven chasing alongside the aircraft, Mei Lin quickly tilted the plane, startling Raven, who tried to evade but crashed into a parked truck instead. The resulting explosion claimed Raven's life. Inside the plane's cabin, Woolrika fired shots at Clay and Cat, with one bullet even piercing the cockpit and wounding Madeline's shoulder. Despite being weaponless, Cat and Clay attempted to combat Woolrika. Cat was thrown against the plane door and struggled to hang on. However, Clay managed to gain the upper hand and subdue Woolrika. After scrambling through the plane door, Cat handcuffed Woolrika to a crate filled with explosives. Suddenly, the plane swerved ejecting the crate and dragging Ulrika along. She plummeted onto a building and perished in the ensuing detonation. Meanwhile, in Kazakhstan, 
Mona, and Bobby contacted the radar center to track Elise's plane. Soon after, Bobby directed Mona's gaze skyward to the unsteady Air Force plane approaching them. In the film's conclusion, May Lin successfully landed the aircraft. Clay, Kat, May Lin, and Elise disembarked, with Elise expressing her gratitude to the three formidable women. She also vowed to request her father to reward them appropriately for their efforts in rescuing her. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.